for the big difference between Guilty Gear Stride modding and DNF Dual modding is this underscore P at the end. So you have to add this to your pack files and your sig files in order for them to read it. So before you recook your assets tons of times, like I have, like trying to recook this over and over, then you should go ahead and try to name it to underscore P at the end to see if it works in game first instead of trying to like recook it and things and making sure you re-export it. So virtually the modding process is the same otherwise. The key difference is the character names are different, but if you want to know how to figure that out, just grab a mod off of Game Banana, like right here. I can just go and find a striker mod and click download. And then from there, I can find the uh, files. And then I'll go here inside of that folder where I have that one. I'm going to use the Wii Fit Trainer one here because I already have it extracted. But you can see it cascades. And this is the cascade you want to follow inside of Unreal Engine. So the content, Chara, this is Striker's name for Unreal Engine purposes and stuff. So you go through there, just make it the same as this. And then you can export these assets and then use them so that way you can get the files so you can modify them in Photoshop. And from there, you just cook it. Well, make sure that you go right here, asset actions, bulk edit, uncheck those two, sRGB, save all, and cook the content for Windows. And then from there, you want to go to the documents folder where it is, and it'll be here in the cooked files. It's the gg underscore red, it'll be here. So I'll go ahead and cook that. I'm just using the Guilty Gear one I was using before. You don't even have to change the project name. All right, that was done. Delete these files right here, the shader archive files, they don't work. So, there we go. Just got to grab this content folder and then find this one, Unreal Pack and Unreal Pack with compression. So I'll go right here and you want to make a folder called whatever name you want to name your mod. And then from there, you make a red folder. So make a red folder, name it exactly right. Then inside the red folder, you want to copy and paste your content folder. And then from there, you can replace it if you have one already. And then you drag this on top of with compression. It'll make a PAK file. And then you can drag that in your mods folder. And this is a very key difference. You can see how this one doesn't have the underscore P. You have to make that on there. So I'll go ahead and delete this one just so that way I can show underscore P. So once you do that, it'll load up in game. I'll go ahead and load that up to show that it does work. Mash through this as fast as I can. Well, that striker's voice line right there. <laughs> So you get it working there. Let's click the stage. Point. Load pin here. I don't think this would be the final modified. I'll modify it a little bit more. But. <laughs> a little bit but yeah you can see it's working here so we get the mod going in game but that is the key differences and that is a rough rundown of how you make these mods hope that helps somebody out i was just having a lot of trouble with it so hope that helped